Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yamane's Love Life. Why am I back here playing this game? The developer actually said that there were other things that I didn't get to try out, and I felt like I didn't give it a fair chance. So I'm back in here, and I want to check those things out right now because I really was impressed by this game, and this developer deserves some more love on their game. So we are going to check out more of Yamane's Love Life right now. You guys cool with that? You down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! But yeah, I checked out a video about this game after I uploaded my version of it. It, and there was a lot more stuff to do in the mobile version. What the heck? Why are you so close? Hey, I just wanted to say I think you look great today. Really? Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. I think you look awesome as well. People were telling me that these voices are AI. And that actually scared the shit out of me. Because I was like, oh, that was impressive. Little do I know, that didn't even come from a real human being. There was like a manhole somewhere here. There you go. Right over here. I didn't show this in the last video. So let's remove the signs. And then I actually can't fall down here. I think that we have to cover this up. And then we have to make somebody walk over it. That's something that I actually didn't get to try in the last video. But let's see if I can try it here. Leaves bag? Empty your hand first. Okay. How do I drop this shit? Hold on. How do I drop this bitch? Excuse me. Drop the freaking crowbar. There you go. Drop that. And then I'm pretty sure that we just scatter the leaves. Set up the trap. Bada bing, bada boom, right? Yep. There we go. Trap. What? You're a loser. What do you mean? It makes sense that you would put the leaves bag over the hole, right? Because there's a bunch of leaves that you can scatter on the ground. And it makes sense because there's a tree right there. But if I do this, then I get an instant game over. I don't understand. All right, check this out, everybody. So this is what I need to do. I can't be holding the leaves bag when I'm setting up the trap because that makes too much sense. What I need to do is drop this thing right here, remove the signs, and then we set the trap. There you go. Okay. Okay. And then I fell in anyway. I'm a joke. I need you all to forgive me. I'm not quite feeling 100%. My nose is a little stuffy. I do have the sniffles. Yes, I'm a grown-ass man saying sniffles. Like, what are you going to do about it? Nothing, right? So what I need to do, I need to stop being a pinche pendejo. And I need to grab this. Oh, wait. Hold on. Before we do that, let me drop that right there. Because it gets a little weird once you put the leaves back near here. Let me remove these signs. And then... Leaves bag, leaves bag. I said this in the last video, but sometimes, like, clicking the stuff is so confusing. But let's set this trap and don't get too close. Do not get stuck in your own trap. I'm like a spider getting caught in my own web. It's embarrassing. Please walk over the leaves. I mean, why would anybody walk on the leaves on purpose? I would never understand that. But there you go. They fell right into the manhole, I guess. So they fell down and then just did like a cowabunga Ninja Turtle style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how you do the sewer trap. You just get the leaves. It honestly looked like the world's biggest dog took the fattest shit right there. I don't know why anybody would willingly step on it, but it is an elimination, so we had to check it out. Another thing that we gotta do is we have to steal somebody's phone real quick. So for this one, I need to upgrade my seduction stat so I can get people to follow me, but I need to go in like some library looking area, but I'm unfamiliar with this school's layout, so I'm just gonna go through the school and I'll see you when I get there. Wait. I think this is it right here. How do I increase my seduction? Wait, wait. Vent? Oh, duh. I thought I was going to vent to somebody. Here we go. Seduction. Seduction increased, but by how much, though? Uh, I guess that's good, right? So what I need to do is I need to ask you a favor. I need you to meet me somewhere. I need you to meet me behind the school. Right now at clock. Reason dating? Hold on. Wait, what? Too late? Oh, wait. Uh, The reason is anime. Because... Fuck it. Who doesn't love anime, right? Confirm that. It's already too late. How about... Oh, my goodness. How about 12.30 p.m.? Are you going to do it? Can I at least get, like, a head nod? Can you blink twice? All right, so in order to do that, we have to attend class. So let's do language. Because I actually like this little mini game right here. Sub... Oh, my goodness. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? How is that not doing it? S-U-B... I'm doing it. Subdermatography. I'm literally... Oh, my caps lock was on. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. It was cap sensitive? Bro, you're making me sensitive. Hold on. There you go. Bro, watch me still work this. Watch me get my A. Oh, my mother. Oh, you son of a... Oh, you're such a bitch. Oh, dude, come on. Your mom's a hoe. Okay, but it's 12 p.m., I need to get a bucket of water, and I need to meet on the rooftop so I could drop... Hold on. Wait a second. 
Did these dudes take barbells with them to lunch? Freaking douchebags! Is that already a bucket of water? It is. All right. This thing did my job for me. Behind the school is this location here. Are, is the person there? Nobody's even there. Hold on. I have to wait till I think 1230. But as you can see at the top, it says drop or pour. So let's just wait for the person to come. I think it's at 1230. I said behind the school, right? Is somebody there? Nobody's there. Oh, that is so embarrassing. Okay, the person's right there. So let's pour. Got him! Did someone just threw water on me? Ugh, I need to get changed now. All right. So the first part of our plan is underway. Next thing we need to do is Operation Steal That Phone. She's right there. <laughs> I mean, I would run like that, too, if all my clothes were wet. All right, here we go, everybody. Instantly changed into her towel, and I need that phone right there. So this is what we are gonna do. We took the phone. Now we need to go back to the rooftop. So we need to go all the way over here where all these people are exercising at. Place the phone right there, and then we need to sabotage it. Hold on. Sabotage. There you go. Sabotage is a success. Now, hey, calm down, people. Calm down. Let me talk to her real quick. Um, let me tell her something. How do we tell her something? Favor? Appoint actions? Oh, lost phone issue. I think I saw your phone on the rooftop's left side. And she's gonna go get it without even questioning anything. Okay, those gym freaks are gone. And then she just immediately falls down. That's crazy. Can I fall down too? No? <laughs> Bro! Wait, who's that? Why is there somebody crawling outside of school? But yeah, she fell off right there. Oh, what? Who did that? Huh? Oh, shit. Okay, we didn't do that, though. We did not do that. So let's see what happens when the police come to school. But there's, like, no evidence that we did anything. Police came to school and found a dead body on the school grounds. They couldn't find anything incriminating Yamane. After another long and tiring day of school, Yamane went back home and immediately fell asleep and dreamt of her beloved one. So she just got done sabotaging one of the students out of school, and she slept like a baby. That's basically what that said. Next thing we are going to try out is another elimination method. This one uses the vending machine. I just need to get a screwdriver, sabotage it, ask somebody to get me a snack, and it's actually not that complicated. Because we got the screwdriver. We sabotaged that. Let me just talk to this person who's a little too happy to be here. And I would like you to buy me a drink, please. Can you please bring me something to drink? Yeah, they ran over to this vending machine to get me something. That's how much they actually like me. Where is my drink? Oh, give me back my money. Yeah, that's how you make it work. Karate kicks. And that's how it's done, everybody. We, we just did the vending machine elimination. And let me see if I can actually take this corpse into the vent. Wait, how did all this blood come out? If you think about it, we're like dragging the person that's outside of the vent while we're in the vent. I wonder if anybody would notice if like they pass by us in the hallway. But yeah, we pretty much just dragged the body through the vent the entire time. That vent thing is way too OP. Ouch. Okay, Someone so what I'm going to do, I am uh, going to electrocute them now. as they are getting clean. That doesn't make any sense, but it's going to make sense in a second. How do I put this in there? There it is. Trap. Got her. Dude, we can straight up see the anatomy. We can see, like, the spine and the science club skeleton. And there you go. I'm not even going to drag that body. It told me that I could, but let's just leave that there. Can't Increased understand. biology stat. Okay, so there's tranquilizer right here. That's creepy. Why would there be tranquilizer on the beds that people can be on? Uh, how should I use this thing? How should I, I use this thing? I don't know shit about biology, and even I know how to do that. Okay, I can't go to class if there's a body still just out there, so we just threw that body over. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fast-forwarding time. And then now we need to increase our biology stat, and then I'm gonna try to kidnap somebody. Let me see if I can do it now. Add that. Successfully added. Okay, cool. So, yeah, last thing we are gonna do is we are going to empty my hand first. Oh, okay, drop that. And then let's get the syringe. How do I put it away? I don't want to be holding a syringe in my hand, but I don't know how to put it away. I guess what I have to do is carry my bag at all times, right? So I can put it inside of my bag. So let's see. Put that back in there. And there you go. So that's how you do it. You always have to carry the bag at all times. Let's ask a favor. I want you to follow me. And how do I actually trank them? Is it inside the room, kind of like how Yandere Simulator does it? Where you only have like a specific room where you can do something like that? Because that room is right here. With this box right over here. So, hold on. Let me get this guy to follow me real quick. Hurry up, asshole. Dude running like he's in a dream or some shit. Okay. So, wait, wait. Um, how do we close the door? I don't know how to close the door. This dude is, like, really on me. 
So let's get that. And then, um, how do I trank you? Move, bitch! Bro, move. Hold on. How do I trank that ass? I'm carrying a weapon because I'm trying to do something. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Attack. Oh! That worked, right? Okay, he's sleeping. All right, cool. So let me drop this. I'm figuring out how to do these controls on the fly, everybody. But yeah, let's get this corpse. Or not corpse, but sleeping body. And then how do I put you in here? Right there. Got him. Bro's rolled up like a sushi. Okay, so now we just got to get out of here. And then he's going to be back with us in the basement. After another long and tiring day of school, Yamane took the case containing the sleeping student to her home. Once home, she immediately tied her victim to a chair in her basement before falling asleep and dreaming of her beloved one. What a sicko. The basement is right here. There you are, buddy. All right, what's this? Oh, that's nothing. That's more rope just in case and more duct tape. Okay, can I talk to you? How do I do this? How do I... How do I do things? Okay. I guess we can't, like, do anything to the victim. They kind of just stand there. I feel so bad. Bro looked like he just want to catch Pokemon or some shit with a backwards hat, but I'm over here just, like, kidnapping him in the basement. What happens, though, if I kidnap two people? Will two people be down there? Oh, we can't because the little box thing is in here. You know what? I'm gonna try anyway. Stop following me. And then let me attack. Why am I stuck? Oh, shit. Go to sleep, bitch. Yeah, buddy. Wait, are you dead? No, you're sleeping. And I can't even get out of here. Please let me get out of here. Please. I don't like being stuck in corners. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Yamane's Love Life. I'm glad that I went back in here and tried some of the things that I missed when I played this the first time. Let me know what you all think about this game. I actually am looking forward to all the updates. I hope the developer sticks with this because it has a lot of potential. Hopefully, you all enjoyed me playing it. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.